Okay, everyone, we are going to do an activity with Play-Doh. So you can use store-bought Play-Doh. If you don't have store-bought Play-Doh at home, you can also just mix together some water and flour and make some dough that way too. Simple with something you have at home. Then we're gonna try and make caterpillars or butterflies. And we are just gonna use, we have drinking straws. So just get creative with things that you have at home. And we have some toothpicks that you could use for legs and antennas. And you could just use some scissors to snip the drinking straws so you can use them for wherever you want. Grown up will probably help with that part. Um, but just think about things that you have at your house that you could use. So don't feel like you have to go to the store or anything. If you don't have Play-Doh, like I said, you could just make some flour dough. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to make their caterpillars for you. So one easy step to start with is, is roll them into a ball. You yep. take a little piece of Play-Doh and you just take your hands and go round and round. Until it looks like a ball. Good mm -hmm. job. And then you make another ball. Are there other colors you wanted me to cut? Some of the yellow? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sounds good. Really? All right, so we're just cutting some pieces for them to use for either legs or antenna or whatever they're getting creative with it. You can also make a variety of other different bugs. You certainly can. You are right. You don't have to. You can try to do different things. You like are an ant, a spider, mm -hmm. a light bug. Yep. You can do lots of things with play it out. Yep. You can make creations. So this week at school, we're talking about caterpillars and butterflies. That's why I wanted them to start with that. But you are absolutely right. They can use their imagination and come up with any kind of thing. And different ideas. That they want to do. Maybe. But... Just get creative with the things you have at home. Go ahead and start making your caterpillar kiddo. I will. There we go. Hopefully they're some nice that's ones. enough straw pieces. I could cut more if you need more. Our kitty's talking to us. Taco's <laughs> saying hello, everybody. Yep. Hello. He's also saying hello. He's saying I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. All right. Let's see these creations. Oh, Charlie's. Got some antenna going already. I'm still okay. getting balls. Nice. Good I'm job. saving this piece for a little special thing I want to do. Later. Okay. All right. And I'll show you what that is after I'm done with every single one. Nice job. I like how you guys both hum while you work. Great musical. Now, if you want to make eyes for your caterpillar, oh, cute! <laughs> take two little balls and roll them until they get into two little balls, and uh -huh. then just put them on wherever you want your caterpillar head. Oh, that's cute, Char. That was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Nice then, little eyes. Very cute. And yeah. then another thing I like to do is snap these little toothpicks in half and put one for each side. Oh, you can. I don't know if my scissors will cut on me, but they will probably break easily. Yep, they break easy. Yeah. There. Want me to help you? Yep, I'm working on it. Okay. Here you go. Are you making little legs? Yes, little tiny little caterpillar That's legs. a good idea, Charlie. That was really cute. That was a good idea. And I'm still Ta -da. And then... That's all right. You don't... It's not a race. And you just take and your And you can also use these to kind of sculpt your, your caterpillar to make it look cool. Go for it. And that, I'm making a mm -hmm. tiny caterpillar. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna save two little balls, like Charlie said, for your eyes. Good, it's idea. good idea. Mm -hmm, it was a good idea. Design. 